Top seed Gu Kenke and Tan Boon Hyong outclassed Chinese Taipei's Chen Hongling and Lin Yulang 21-15, 21-13 in just 26 minutes in the semi-final of the China Open in Shanghai on Saturday. The Malaysians are enjoying a good run in recent tournaments and they seem to be performing better when they are more relaxed. Yeah, every time I need to, to have that feeling but you know sometimes we get tense we doesn't know when, when, when the tense comes to you, the pressure comes to you. But well, I hope we can we can realize something that we have now. Yeah, we should learn and keep it up. The spirit that we have right now are very strong. Yeah, even though we are tired today, I didn't see any any s signals that my partner giving me that he's tired now, and me as well. <laughs> so yeah, we just go for it. Yeah. The power and fire in Kenket on the court was paying dividends. Four badminton records were broken on Fridays for the final and three in the semi-final as a result of Ken Kiet's smashing display. However, the women's doubles pair of Wong Pei Ti and Qin Yi Hui fell to China's Zhang Yaowen and Tian Qing 17-21, 8-21. The Chinese pair got off to a flying start with an 11-7 lead. Pei Ti and Yi Hui showed some resistance, but it was not good enough to beat their six-seed opponents. The second set belonged to Yao Wen and Tian Qing as the Malaysians failed to find their footing to fight on. I think that uh, not really off. La. But the thing is that uh, we really hard to kill them. And we find out that uh, like no more tactics we can play to kill them that show us maybe that out of the match. La. We expected that not easy to kill. But in the second set we really find the no way off. Right? In August, Yao Wen and Zhao Tingting won the World Championships, but following Tingting's retirement, the team split the young pair of Pan Pan and Tian Qing to form a new partnership with Yao Wen. The abundance of women's doubles talents in China has made any match results between any of them very unpredictable. In the mixed doubles, Li Yongdae and Li Yojong of Korea overcame Thailand's Song Pon Anu Gritaya Won and Kunchala Voratvichi Chaiko 21-13, 20-22, The Thais attacked the apparently slow Hyojong, but the Koreans managed to keep their composure to make it into their second consecutive final in the tournament. From Shanghai, Chao Havan, The Star, Malaysia.